Imagine a world where it's possible to create miniature capsules in which we could transport or store an unlimited array of products. Better still, imagine that these capsules could be used to clear pollution from water or from the air that we breathe. Professor Esther Amstad is working on microscopic capsules, which might just revolutionize the way we deal with pollution. And for that, we built tiny capsules that are roughly of the size of a human hair that we um, use to encage these substances. Almost like a cage where you can put in something, you close the door, and once you need it, you can open the door and release it again. These capsules have very small, thin shells that are again, roughly 10,000 times smaller than a human hair. And we built these shells from tiny molecules that we assemble, almost like Lego. We are going to see how these boxes define the properties of the microcapsules. Water is flowing through these tiny channels. We inject oil from both sides to cover each drop of water, then we plunge them into the water again. We then have microcapsules and we can control their permeability, all the while organizing the molecules which are in the inside of this layer of foil. And these molecules, they have one part which likes the water and one part which likes the oil. So to test these properties of these molecules, we use a setup like this one here. So what you see here is we have a drop of oil in a water bath. And the oil is full of these tiny molecules. So when I make this drop bigger, the molecules, they really like the water. So they will go to the water, but they need the oil. These molecules are going to stay on the surface of the drop, one part of the structure in the oil, another in the water. Once they have taken up the full interface of oil and water, the microcapsule is formed. You have polluted water, or you have gases in the atmosphere that you want to absorb. We can actually modify the capsules such that they act almost like sponges and extract the pollutants or the toxins from liquids or gases. The way that we can do that is we can design them such that they are initially very permeable. If we go back to the example of the box, this time the microcapsules are open from the start, ready to absorb toxins like sponges. Once they are saturated, a beam of light can order them to close up so they become hermetic. They then can be collected and put to one side in storage. Thanks to this research, we can imagine capsules which would absorb mercury in a polluted room, or even absorb the heat of the day and let it out at night as the temperatures fall. <laughs>